Stole Takeoff and Landing VTOL, and Short Takeoff and Landing Stole capabilities. It is designed to combine the functionality of a conventional helicopter with the long-range high-speed cruise performance of a turboprop aircraft. In 1980, the failure of Operation Eagle Claw during the Iran hostage crisis underscored that there were military roles for which neither conventional helicopters nor fixed-wing transport aircraft were well-suited. The United States Department of Defense DoD, initiated a program to develop an innovative transport aircraft with long-range, high-speed, and vertical takeoff capabilities, and the Joint Service Vertical Takeoff Landing Experimental JVX program officially commenced in 1981. A partnership between Bell Helicopter and Boeing Helicopters was awarded a development contract in 1983 for the V-22 Tiltrotor aircraft. The Bell Boeing team jointly produces the aircraft. The V-22 first flew in 1989 and began flight testing and design alterations. The complexity and difficulties of being the first tiltrotor for military service led to many years of development. The United States Marine Corps USMC, began crew training for the MV-22B Osprey in 2000 and fielded it in 2007. It supplemented and then replaced their Boeing Vertol CH-46 c Knights. The U.S. Air Force USAF, fielded its version of the Tiltrotor, the CV-22B, in 2009. Since entering service with the Marine Corps and Air Force, the Osprey has been deployed in transportation and medevac operations over Iraq, Afghanistan, Libya, and Kuwait. The U.S. Navy plan to use the CMV-22B for carrier onboard delivery duties beginning in 2021. In 2012, former Defense Minister Satoshi Morimoto ordered an investigation of the costs of V-22 operations. The V-22's capabilities exceeded current Japan's Self-Defense Forces helicopters in terms of range, speed and payload. The ministry anticipated deployments to the Nansei Islands and the Senkaku Islands, as well as in multinational cooperation with the U.S. in November 2014. The Japanese Ministry of Defense decided to procure 17 V-22s. The first V-22 for Japan undertook its first flight in August 2017, and the aircraft began delivery to the Japanese military in 2020. In September 2018, the Japanese Ministry of Defense decided to delay the deployment of the first 5 megavolts 22Bs it had received amid opposition and ongoing negotiations in the Saga Prefecture, where the aircraft are to be based. On the 8th of May 2020, the first two of the five aircraft were delivered to the JGSDF at Kisarazu Airfield after failing to reach an agreement with Saga Prefecture residents. It is planned to eventually station some V-22s on board the Izumo-class helicopter destroyers.